Welcome to another episode of Jay Lone's Garage, the car we're featuring today, a 1979 German police car, which of course happens to be a Volkswagen. I'm smiling because it just makes me smile. I love the, the siren. I love the, the, I mean, the light here with the two sirens look kind of like Mickey Mouse ears, you know. I, I mean, criminals must laugh hysterically when you pull up behind them in this. But anyway, this belongs to a good friend of mine, Spike Fierston. You probably know him from his podcast, from his TV show, Matchmaker, Car Matchmaker. Hey, Jay. Come on in, Spike. How are you? Good. Good to see you. Give us the name of the podcast again. Spike's Car Radio on right. Podcast One. And I did it. It was a lot of fun. You did. You were a great guest. Thanks Thank you for you so having much. me on. And I love this. Thing. It just, I, I'm just laughing looking at it. It just makes me smile. Where did you find this? Did you get this in Germany? Well, it came directly from Germany, but our mutual friend Jerry Seinfeld found it. Oh, okay. He, okay. This car was used uh, in Würzburg, Germany as an actual police car. Right. I'm guessing it, uh, it wasn't used as a paddy wagon because it doesn't <laughs> have <laughs> right, yeah, any yeah. gate there. Right. But they did do traffic control with it. it Right. And it was used from 1978 till 1990. Oh, okay. With with police, you can see there are actually cop cigarette burns in the seats right there. I can the see that. Yes, it's very authentic. Yeah. Very authentic. And it wasn't a joke. It wasn't a parade vehicle. This right. is the two officers would respond in this vehicle. Yeah, I mean, it just seems like. <laughs> I guess the idea of the criminal would be laughing so hard he would drop his weapon and they could then he's already bent over. You just cuff him. Yeah, just like take that. Him. Yeah, I mean, it's plus to me. I love the. See, I love any foreign language that I can figure out what it means. Yes. Because that was my favorite. Remember the TV show Mission Impossible? Mm -hmm. They would always go to a telephone Z. It would be telephone with a Z on the end. Right. So right. they, they didn't want <laughs> to make fun of any country. So but they just put a Z or an X. <laughs> telephone X. You know, it's, so, oh, it must be a telephone. It must be German. You know, whatever it might be. Whatever foreign language, Croatian, whatever it is. Now, does this have anything different? It's got, obviously, the siren the lights, the radio. Well, on top, uh, those are the PA horns. Oh, PA horns, not it's, sirens. It's got a Telefunken radio inside. A Telefunken radio. It's it's, not a, it sounds like you're look swearing. At, look at a Telefunken <laughs> radio in this thing. <laughs> Looks like it came from a German submarine. Yeah. If you look at everything that's happening like there, booth. the switches. Yeah, yeah. And, I, and I recently got on Google to try to find out what it all did, and some maniac in Germany translated the manual for the Telefunken radio from German to English, so now I know what everything does. Wow, so he translated the whole Telefunken radio. <laughs> Telefunken radio. That's unbelievable to the, take the time to the, do that. The sirens uh, are on the front. Oh, they're, sirens they're are, I was wrong. These are not sirens. Those this are the PA. PA, and you can talk through it to traffic. It sounds like you would be... Hi, folks. How are you? Nice <laughs> to see you. Why you? Come on, everybody. Let's go. Get out of the way. Clear the road. It's just... It just it, this it, is the happiest car I own by far. It makes people smile wherever I go. When I pull up to Bill's at the yeah. Malibu Kitchen, I can order my breakfast from the car seat. Wow. Two eggs, over easy, just like that. And, I, and I, the only thing I've done to it is install those rear seat belts, oh, which okay. the criminals didn't get those, for, yeah, my, yeah. for my two little boys, Jack and James, so we can drive around the neighborhood in it. But, you know, I suppose there's some thought process that it does make people smile, so it's not as intimidating. I mean, seriously, when the police pull up in this, it, you're not going to get your head kicked in. I, I think it was more about the practicality. The cost yeah, right. is cheap. It, it works well in all four seasons. It's only about 45 horsepower. Right. So, right, right. And, and, and these Volkswagens, these cars were used not just by the police all over Germany. You know, they were used by the military. They were right. used by the fire department, the post office. This is just what they used back in the day. Very nice. And obviously, it's been restored. It's, it's it's not the original paint, is it? You think it is? It is not the original paint. It was uh, taken out of commission and thrown into a warehouse until 2007. And then somebody found it in the warehouse and decided, I'm going to restore the exterior of the car, and, and did about 100 hours of restoration to the outside of the car, but not the inside of the car. OK. I, I don't know what happened to this guy. Most likely, he got divorced. And then the car sat in his garage when Sam Cabiglio, Jerry's guy, I don't know if you know Sam. Oh, sure, Sam, I know Sam, yeah. Sam and Jerry caught wind of it and, and looked at the car and brought it to the United States. Now, what Jerry did with it was he put it on Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee, the Bill right. Maher episode. And then he, when he was done with it, Jerry sold it to me. I used it on Car Matchmaker on my show when we were doing a show about microcars. Were you trying to sell it? No. I was just I was just driving it as an example of a big car compared to a microcar, right, a right. BMW Isetta. Next to it, right. this car looks absolutely gigantic, like a Peterbilt truck. Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. Sure. So. and that's it. And now it's mostly used for car shows and having fun. You know, when when my kids and I and my wife we go to a birthday party, this is what we drive. Now, have you run into any German tourists that that, that 
it sort of looks it's startled. funny you should mention that. Yeah. yeah, my neighbor is from Germany, and she came down the street. She started crying when she saw it. This was the one of the cars she had seen growing up. Oh, is that and right? And she had been. She lives down the street from me here in Los Angeles, and she was homesick. That day, she saw this car in my driveway, and she started crying. Isn't that sweet? Well, that is. That Joy, is. Joy, laughter, and tears. Yes. <laughs> well, now how about our police? Because it still says police, and it still has a, a blue light at the yes, top. Yes. Yeah. Have you been stopped by our police? No. The, what is this? Yeah. <laughs> the, the check my papers. Yeah. No. They they seem to laugh at it. They yeah. seem to celebrate it. I've had uh, police officers and fire uh, department firemen come over and come into the driveway just to see what it is. Right. Right. It's got a stamp of approval. As long as you know, with these police cars. You're not allowed to blow the horn or uh, turn the siren on, or that could get you in trouble. Yeah, but you got, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, yeah, as long yeah. as no one sees this. But you use right. that telefunken radio. I'll tell yeah. you that right no, now. No, we're going to use that today. You're going to like it. Oh, cool. It's ready <coughs> to go. Now, does that, is that just to hear, or is it supposed to be a, like a short wave? Is that what it is? Is it? It is, there, I, there's a radio that communicated with a larger antenna full of other German, co you can't talk to them anymore, right. they're not no, around, no. it doesn't reach all the way to Germany. So okay. right now what we have hooked up are the sirens in the front, there's uh, two separate sirens and the PA horn and the lights. Now what were these, were they a four speed or a five speed? Instead? Four speed. Were these ever five speeds? I'm trying to remember, I think they were, weren't they in the last? Boy, I don't know. I'm I do know sure. they made about 20 million Volkswagen Beetles. The and very first Volkswagen, I'm thinking of all my Volkswagen Beetle trivia, the very first Volkswagen convertible went to our friend Hitler. Right, right. He was the first one to get it. Well, I think you were more friends than I, I was just an acquaintance. <laughs> I think that was more your friend than, than, than mine. But, but yeah, yeah. And, um, you know, these cars are loved around the world, and I think they were making them new until 2003 and stopped for a little while and uh, started making them. Well, again. I know they made them in South America. Brazil and Mexico. Brazil and Mexico. Right, Mexico. Right. Were they still building in Germany up to that late? No, they had stopped. Yeah, they had stopped. Okay. Right. So, but this would be a German built one, right? Now, yes. Yeah. Now, the green and white, is that the German police car colors for the whole country of Germany or just for the town it's from? I believe this is just for Würzburg. Okay. And how many miles on it as a police car? It must have been pretty crazy. We have 124,000 kilometers on it. Okay, so, so that's so about 90,000 miles, something like that? Yeah, somewhere in that neighborhood. Okay, well, and, it's, and it's got the original, if you look at it, we can look at it, it's got the little uh, police keychain on it. Yeah, the the, them, yeah that hung the up there, yes. Oh, yeah, we they still have that. Still Jay. have that to make it perfect, yes. <laughs> Well, let's take a look at the engine. Sure, sure. And as you said, the engine is completely, completely stuck. Completely stuck. There it is. You're, uh, you're not catching anybody with this engine, Jay. Well, you know what's interesting? Every Volkswagen I've seen has been modified, and I haven't. I guess that's the original air cleaner. <laughs> if that's unique to that year, you know, everyone I see has some small K and N or something mm -hmm, on it. Mm -hmm. So I guess that's the way they came. And is that the alternator? That must be a bigger alternator. It's not, it's not it doesn't have air conditioning, right? No, no, there's no air conditioning. Right, right. So that must be a heavy duty alternator of some sort. These, you know, these cars, what I like about them, they remind me of my favorite cars, Porsches. These, yeah. They're little air cooled engines. Right. You get a, a very uh, pure driving experience. Right. It, right, and that's what, that's what it delivers. This, this engine's only about, it's, it's under 50 horsepower. The top speed of the car is, maybe 70 downhill 80, right right <laughs> but the thing is they could hold 70 right and you could keep your foot right to the floor without blowing yes. it up you know last summer i took this car up to monterey and i piled uh, myself and three other guys in it and really? we drove why would you do that well this is this is what i chose you to drove drove. up to monterey no i drove around carmel oh okay monterey. that's all oh, that's so okay we yeah. took it to carmel to dinner we were yelling at people through the pa to get out of our spot right but the car performed better with all four of us in it than it did with myself uh, driving by myself. Really? You think that's psychological? You think yeah, that's... absolutely. Yeah, all right. <laughs> all right, it's fascinating. And what does a little red light do? I, don't, I think that's a little German parking light there that, okay. we can, that we can turn on. But I've no, I don't know. I just noticed that myself. It's amazing to me how primitive cars still were as late as 79 and mm -hmm. 80. I mean, distributor, carburetor, I mean, things we don't even have anymore. You mm -hmm. know, it's like, well, it's a long time ago. It's 38, 39 years ago, basically. Yeah, uh, and it, it's that simplicity that, that I like. Yeah. You know, I, I, I like the sim simple nature of this car. This is a car, I'm not a renter like you, but there are little things I can do here and there to this but car. But you could always it get it home. Yeah, yeah. That was the cool thing about it, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Very nice. All right, let's close this up. There you go.
And come around this side. Uh, it's what, drum brakes, I guess? Mm -hmm. Or does this have disc brakes? No? Drum. Once again, my favorite. Policia? How do you, how do you say it? Police. Police? Police. That sounds French. I don't know. Uh, Police. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Well, so our fans in Germany now will just tear us apart because they're saying it wrong. Let's look under well, the... How, do you, how, how would you pronounce it? I don't know. It's, it's, Polize. Mission, it's Mission Impossible talk. <laughs> Let's see what's... Okay. There we go. Oh, spare, got your spare tire. tire. Back of the radio. Back of that big telefunken radio. Tele I'll tell you that right radio now. right there. Some well, wires you, and then... Well, you know what? No, this is fascinating to me. Now, these wires look so un-German. Mm-hmm. I mean, whenever I see German wires, they're always beautifully, you know, color coded and whatever. I mean, this just looks like, you know, that Angelo down at, uh, you know, <laughs> the Italian motor shop did, you know? Well, um, that's the wire harness, I think, for Telefunken okay. and our Bosch sirens. It looks like our PAs an Italian wiring and everything harness. Else. With a, yeah. yeah, it's the cops. What yeah. do they need? Why do they need yeah. everything neat? But it never left the factory like that. They must have added that later, because that yeah. doesn't look. Because usually, when you see German stuff, it's all correct. You know, everything it goes into a switch box or a fuse box of some kind. That's just all over the place. Yeah, it's safe to say there's no Telefunken option no, at the no, Volkswagen no. factory. Okay. And what is this? Here? Is this windshield washer fluid mm -hmm. there? Okay, right there. That's yeah. where it goes in. All right. Well, I think we're about ready to go for a ride. There's not much else we can do with this thing. Can I drive it? Sure, absolutely. Okay, let's do it, yeah. Catch the bad guy, yeah. <laughs> ready? Yeah. There you go. Can we turn on the siren? Sure, right here. Oh, really? Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> car that makes people happy like this? You know, one time a bunch of Germans came to my, uh, from a German TV station. They right. came to the garage. So they saw my 1941 LaFrance fire truck. Uh -huh. I said, what is this? What's what? I said, it's a fire truck. A private citizen can not own a, a fire vehicle, yes. Oh, no, in America. Okay. I said, you want to go for a ride? Or put, put the camera? I do, uh, can you drive it? I said, well, you can drive a public road. So we get on the road, right? And, and, and Germans are all sitting in the back of the fire engine. I said, you want me to clear traffic? I hit the siren. You cannot blow the siren. There's not an emergency. We are not citizens. We will be arrested. I said, no, no, you're in California. You don't worry about it. No, we cannot please. We don't have our papers here. We don't know. We don't have identification with us. They were just, they were just freaking out, these guys. I said, you're not in Germany, fellas. California, we don't care. Boy, Germans are panicking. Damn, what kind of Germans were these? Nice car to drive, these Volkswagen. You sit upright, you got a nice view of the road. The only thing you can add to this to make it a little better is some Beatles. Breakfast with the Beatles on Sunday. Right, yeah, something like that. That makes the whole experience. Right, right. But this car takes you out of the game. You're not gonna race anybody. Right. You're not gonna have to, you're not keeping up with the Joneses either on the road or off. You're just enjoying a toodle. You're yeah. tootling. It's why I like vintage motorcycles. Mm -hmm. You know, I've got you know, the BMW R, all these high performance bikes. Like one day I'm up in the crest, I'm running 85, 90, 95, and I think, I'm doing pretty good. Boom, boom, these guys go by me. They must be running 130, 140. I go, oh Jesus, Jesus, uh, boom, boom. I, I mean, I didn't see them. I looked in my mirror and, that, and then I just feel this thing, just brush my elbow like I did yours. The guy just touched me, going 104. And I go, all right, this is crazy. When I drive like my 1931 Indian, 45 miles an hour, perfect. Yeah, along. what's better than that? Yeah, exactly. You know, when you came on my podcast, I asked you for safety tips for motorcycles. You gave me one of the best tips what ever. What was that? Do you remember? It was like, I never get on a motorcycle when I'm late. Right, yeah. That is like such an amazing, insightful little rule for bike riding. I think I said, I never get on a motorcycle when I have to be somewhere. Right, yeah, which is, I guess, the same thing. When you be, like, when you be hurrying, when you right. be hustling, where you right. might make a mistake. You're just not paying attention. I've been riding since I was 12 years old. It's, it's something, it's, I, I love it almost more than cars. Right. I'm just afraid of dying. Yeah. <laughs> what would you 
guess the zero to sixty is in this car. Zero to sixty in this car, I'm guessing is. Let me see if I can go back to the old magazine. Seventy-nine. It is twelve point two. We guess. It's a twelve point two. Right. That's what it feels like. Yeah, that's, that's optimistic. But that's not slow. You know. When I was a kid back in the 60s, anything under 10 seconds to 60 was fast. Right. When the right. Chrysler Hemi came out, that was 6.3. And I remember looking to me, that can't be right. Mm -hmm. That was so fast, 6.3. That seemed unbelievable. Now that's Toyota Corolla. Well, I don't think anybody would complain about this other than the fact that it was then made into a police car. And then yeah, there's yeah. a certain expectation yeah, that this yeah, thing yeah. Is, good, is an interceptor. And it can go in, it, it, but it, it's not. Well, anytime a vehicle is a police car and a clown car, <laughs> okay, you can't have both, both extremities. That's right. One or the other, you know, so clown car works. <laughs> police car, nah, it's not gonna, because there's a Keystone cop. Then, 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 you know, you expect to see 50 cops come out of it, you know. Oh, do you want to scream some German through the PA horn again? Geigelheimen. <laughs> <laughs> that was very Schultzy. That was very Hogan's Heroes German. But this is pleasant motoring. Isn't it fun? Yeah. It's relaxing. And there are times when I drive this car and I forget about the sirens and the PAs. Yeah, and yeah. I'm just in a nice old Volkswagen bug. Yeah, yeah. It's a humble conveyance and very relaxing and very calming. And that's yeah. that's what kind of driver I am. Yeah. I work like you in entertainment. It can be very stressful during the yeah, week. It's yeah. going to be an awful business. On the weekends, this is how I chill out. Yeah. See, even just doing this with you right now, I feel like I just had a massage. Yeah. You know what this needs? A windshield that opens. Yeah. They never did that, even back in the day. I wonder why. Because that was popular in cars, windshield that would open. They did it on the old Land Rovers. Did they yeah, do it on yeah. the thing? Can you pop well, the that thing, The windshield folded it down. It did. Yeah. Okay, so there you go. ask me because I do a Porsche podcast yeah people ask me all the time like if I don't have the money I don't have the budget to buy an early 911 what should I do and I always say this is a great place to start these Volkswagen bugs they are 356 like and you're gonna get a little of that experience in this well, you car. Want a Carmen Ghia, right yeah, I'm in a Carmen Ghia, even though those are a little more valuable than yeah those, than those the bugs. Nice. you know this is a great place for you to start yeah is it true that, that, that the Germans and, and Ferdinand Porsche kind of modeled this car after the Tatra? Well, they looked over Hans Ludwinka was instrumental in designing the swing axle. Mm -hmm. I believe he's the only guy to sue Porsche and successfully win. <laughs> he did win in he German did. car. Right. Um, so take with it what you want. I mean, it's, uh, they do look an awful lot alike. Hans Ludwinka was a pretty smart character. Yeah. I mean, I love that era because you're just on the other side of the mountain. But there was no computers, there was no exchanging of information. So there are so many totally unique ideas. You know, now everybody kind of knows what everybody else is doing, you know? Mm -hmm. You know, when I would get foreign cars when I was a kid, they'd be in kilometers. And I'd go, you guys want to do 100? Just want to do 100. Whoa! Whoa! You know, we're going 62.3 <laughs> miles an hour. And that's something that amazes me. I meet people, they still think whatever the speedometer says, mm -hmm. that's what the car can do. Yes. Like my Lamborghini Miura is in kilometers. Mm -hmm. And people come in, they go, wow, this goes 320? I go, yeah. Yep. Yeah, it goes 320. Sure it does. <laughs> this is the kind of car, if you put it in the Gooding auction in Pebble, yeah, you right. get a fortune. Because that's it, right. You know, it looks perfect. Good provenance, it was stored correctly. You'll probably get $75,000. Yeah. And now look, it's been on your show, my show, Jerry's show. Let's just say it's the most famous German Volkswagen. Police guy, yeah. In history. You know, Spike, their cars are exciting to drive. And then there are cars that are fun to drive. And then there are cars that just make you happy. You know, I've been smiling the whole time. And just people look at it and their kids go crazy and they see the light and stuff. It's really a fun car to drive. Thanks for bringing it by. I really appreciate oh, it. Thanks for having me, man. And I... we'll keep checking out your podcast. Give us, a, give us the, uh, the web address and all that. It's yeah. Spikes Car Radio on PodcastOne.com. There you go. Cars and comedy. Check it out. Very funny, your man. With a very funny car. See you next week.
Mm-hmm. <laughs>